Welcome to Pick Your Poison. Today we're talking about the sweetest poison of them all. No, not love, gross. I'm talking about sugar. They say girls are made of sugar and spice and everything nice, but I have news for you. Sugar doesn't love you. Don't get me wrong. It's delicious and your brain practically runs on it, so some sugar is fine, but it's the extra added sugar that's bad. All the stuff you're getting from brownies, cupcakes, ho-hos, and edible body chocolate. Edible body chocolate? Damn, you really are a ho-ho. Those extra sweets are what push you past the 27 teaspoons of sugar a day that the CDC considers a safe amount for adults. Any more than that and you're in trouble. Too much sugar decreases a protein in your brain called the brain-derived neurotrophic factor, which is a stupid name for a protein, but has the badass acronym of BDNF. Low BDNF can cause diminished memory capacity, diabetes, depression, dementia, and some scientists even connect low BDNF to Alzheimer's. And that's just low BDNF. What actually killed you was weight gain. Your liver will turn small amounts of sugar into fuel, but if you have too much sugar, your liver starts pumping out fatty acid instead. Fatty acid goes back into your bloodstream and shows up later as fat, first in your stomach, hips, butt, and breasts. But once those are all filled up, fat builds up in your heart, liver, and kidneys. And that, my ding-dongs, is what will eventually, like 30 or 40 years from now, kill you. And it won't just kill you. Excess sugar also rots your teeth, causes wrinkles, acne, and increases your chances of getting a yeast infection, sick. So it kills your dating life, too. Not cool, sugar. Not cool. So you've just died at the hands of God's gift to children everywhere, sugar. That totally sucks. But on the plus side, it might not be entirely your fault. Low BDNF alters your brain. It adjusts the chemicals that normally alert your body to the fact that you're full, so you're more prone to overeating. Sugar is literally brainwashing you into eating more sugar. It's like you and your snacks of a suicide pack that ends with you getting airlifted off the couch by the local fire department. They'll have to knock in your roof, and it might be on the news, and it will be super awkward. Then your organs will fail, and you'll die. And the worst part is, you you won't even get to eat your funeral cake, which also happens to be your favorite kind of cake. So sorry sugar didn't kill you in the hasty and horrific manner we like most on Pick Your Poison. For something far deadlier, you should bubble, bubble, toil and trouble yourself to check out Deadly Nightshade. It's bewitching. And don't forget to subscribe, like and tweet and sing our praises from whatever rooftop is most accessible. Just don't fall. I'd miss you.